Oh, oh, hello, uh, and welcome back to Navier's channel. Today, it might be a different setup, as you can see, but it doesn't change that we talk about the source folder in Nox for applications now. Here we go. Before we get started, a little disclaimer, this video won't have any face cam this time due to the different setup, though let me know how you like that, if you prefer a bit more face cam or less or not at all, if you just come for the content. So yeah, let's get started. And with this video, actually, I want to address some questions from my last Nux4 and OV video, because there some people asked, okay, how does it work with Nux4 and a source? directory. And to have a look at that, well, we first want to have a look how it worked in Nux3. Because in the good old times, so to say, you could all just do it very simple. You have a source directory you set to source or another name, right, whatever you want. And this folder would then include all your code except your configuration files like your Nux config, ESLint config, etc, etc. And also not your node modules. So these are then top level and to get all the clutter removed, we just have the source folder in there, all our code like components, for example, modules, pages, not the case here, app.view, public, etc., etc. And they would all live in there. But with Next4, things changed a little bit because here, source there is default set to app, and we have this wonderful new app directory. And while this is pretty good, the source directory configuration now serves a different purpose because, as you've noticed, we now have multiple top level folders and public and modules, they will stay top level. So we have to move them out into the root again. And app contains components, pages, etc., etc. And that's all fine. Here comes the problem though. How do we achieve the same thing with Nux3 as before with the new folder structure? And I tell you this way, but it's not that straightforward as just with one object. Okay, first things first, we can in theory remove this source there part here. Uh, because this is app by default, but we actually want to change this straight away. So let's say we have our setup here with public uh, top level modules, top level with like some custom module and app with components, pages, etc., etc. This should work out of the box and we'll be fine. Now, if you want to introduce the source folder as before, what we have to do now is change our source directory to source slash app. The name source directory might also not be correct anymore because this is actually the directory of your next application is some part of it at least, right? So that was changed in v4 to have exactly this structure here. And we can reinstantiate this structure just with a source folder on top. Now there's no single configuration for that. So we can just start, create a source folder again, move app in here. But the problem is you're not really done with that, right? But we still have to cater for modules uh, here for public and other folders, server, etc. So if you want to move them in here as well into the source folder, and we'll do that as well, um, this wouldn't be enough. This like would not show some content. To take a look if our robots.txt works here in our source folder, we just uh, check the browser real quick. And for that application is running in Locos 3000 as expected. Now we just want to open the robots.txt and we see, wait, that is not exactly the robots.txt with a, uh, a test content um, that we had before, any text content actually. This is just the, the app view again. So this obviously doesn't work. And there is a reason for that. We need a bit more configuration because now we set the source directory, but as public and modules and other folders are top level now, well, we need to set them too. And we do this through the dir or directory property. And here we can say public dir, and we can set it to source slash public. And if we set this, then Nuxt can actually look up in source slash public and not public top level. And we actually get our correct test content here in robots.txt as we want. So we have to do this now for all the top level directories, which is public. We have uh, modules as well to say it's source modules and not just modules. There are a few more that we don't have to consider like assets, layouts, uh, middleware, etc., because they live inside app already. Same for plugins. We also have shared, but shared is something we'll handle a bit differently and then public that we just treated. So we're good here. Talking about the shared directory, well, we don't have a shared or a server directory at the moment, but we also would want that to have like a server slash API slash test.ts endpoint here. And if you generate our handler and say return uh, test, then this should also work ideally. But once again, if we now open that in the browser, we will just see, oh, well, our app that view again. So we have to fix the two because Nuxt would expect 
a server directory top level. If we once again move this all the way out of the source folder here and take a look at the browser, then we see that this actually works. And yes, pardon me, I changed the return message real quick from test to message test, so you don't see a, a white content, but I think you're, you're fine with that. Uh, nevertheless, this works now if we pull it out, but we actually don't want to pull it out. We want to move the whole server folder also in our source folder because all the source code should live in here. So how do we do that? Well, we also have to set up another directory and this is called server directory in here. And now we can set source server and not just uh, straight away server, which would be the default, uh, but we want to have the source prefix here in front of that and we should be good to go. And if you now check the browser again, then we are here. Even if I, let me quickly change the message to test from source and refresh the page and we're good to go. So that seems totally fine. And another folder checked. Same actually with the shared folder. So we can set it up through uh, directory shared here. And here we can also just set it to source shared. So this also gets the source prefix. And if you'd have anything that's shared between the server and the app, uh, like I know some types or some utils, let's say utils scream.ts, then we could just have them here. So export const scream and we take uh, a string and just uh, say we want to convert it all to local uppercase and add some exclamation marks. Right, then, then we're good to go. So this would work and we have it now under the source folder as well. Okay, take a look now at the next config. This is everything we need to make it work for these folders. Now, there are still some exceptions and the exceptions are also listed in an issue that if you want to have an easier handling of this source directory, of the original source directory meaning, you should definitely follow that. Um, because what is with the layers folder to put down next layers? P.S. if you don't know what it is, also made a video about that. The problem with the layers folder is, as we've seen here in our dear types, we can't configure that at the moment. That might change given the issue, but at the moment we cannot configure it. So layers would always have to live outside of the source folder. And another issue would be third party modules uh, or even like first party modules, but modules with own folders. Think about next content, for example. So a content folder would also live in here as content. And it right now is not possible to move this under source because you even can't change the folder structure. This was also before like that in Next 3, so this is not a new issue, but it's also an issue that definitely should be raised. And talk about raising issues, of course, I created this issue of 32,965 just around that uh, for uh, that recording and after just to illustrate the issue that's uh, once again the config we've just created here in this video. I also link the video in here and I'm curious, feel free to leave a comment with some thoughts on that because the source directory handling I think could be a bit improved, especially for people coming over. Right now, at least the thing to do would be to uh, make the layers folder customizable and maybe also do that for third party folders so it's possible and actually just configurable. Uh, and from there, yeah, it really depends on your input and your comments. Uh, let me know what you think about it. Please feel free to write a, a more elaborate comment on the issue uh, or uh, end also a YouTube comment if you're interested in that. As usual, I read them all. Uh, the last question to address might be, wait, I can just create a monorepo, right? And that's absolutely correct. So instead, you could also have like, I don't know, an uh, apps folder and then have your like Nuxt app in here or some kind of packages uh, folder. But especially if you just have a single application, then a monorepo is a bit, well, more effort than actually needed. It still would circumvent all these problems. The only thing that you still have is you still have clutter around your configurations, possibly. Uh, in these folders. So it doesn't really fully solve the issue, but it might make it a little bit better. All right, and that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below. Uh, take a look at the issue linked and uh, leave your feedback. And if you have some vacations, then uh, send over some pics. I want to see them as well. Enjoy your time and see you soon. Happy hacking. For real. For real, run.